Hello out there. A lot of people have questions about the range of an electric car when it's getting cold. So today I want to talk about the range, change in range and charging speed uh, when it's cold outside. Albuquerque. Uh, however, I work in Roswell, New Mexico. So uh, once a week I have a drive of about 260 miles uh, going back and forth between the two cities. Um, so what I would like to do is I would like to compare two drives. One drive during warmer times, um, the temperatures will be above 20 degrees Celsius, and another drive uh, when it's colder it's going to be right around freezing. So uh, both drives will be back from Roswell to Albuquerque. Uh, the total drive is about 260 miles. Um, I have to stop in between the charge that is in Santa Rosa. So that divides the drive into two legs. The first leg, about 130 miles, um, goes mostly uphill. Uh, then I'm charging and then the second leg is a little bit over 130 miles as well and it goes uh, mostly uphill at first but then it goes back down uh, over a couple of hills uh, back down into Albuquerque so it ends up in about the same elevation so uh, let's look into the numbers um, the first drive was in October so it was pretty warm outside um, the first leg from Roswell to Santa Rosa was at about 28 degrees Celsius outside temperature. I used about 54% uh, state of charge of the battery which equals to 34.8 kilowatt hours um, on a 130 mile drive that equals about 3.78 miles per kilowatt hour. The second leg from Santa Rosa to Albuquerque uh, it was a little bit colder about 24 degrees Celsius outside air temperature I used 57% um, state of charge of the battery, um, which equals to 36.5 kilowatt hours, and that gives a mileage of about 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour. The second drive was in December. Um, outside air temperatures uh, were a lot colder. On the first leg from Roswell to Santa Rosa, it was about negative 5 degrees Celsius. Um, I used about 78% state of charge of the battery. Um, that is about 50 kilowatt hours and equals to a mileage of about 2.64 miles per kilowatt hour. The second leg from Santa Rosa to Albuquerque, uh, again a little bit warmer, just above freezing 1 degree Celsius outside air temperature. Um, I used about 68% state of charge of the battery, which equals about 43.5 uh, kilowatt hours, and that equals about 3 miles per kilowatt hour. So let's compare the two legs to each other during the warmer and the colder weather. Um, when I drove up in December, the battery temperature to start out with in Roswell was only about one degree Celsius so just a little bit of a freezing. Uh, during the drive up to Santa Rosa it warmed up to about 20 degrees Celsius and then during the charging of course a lot more which gives us a higher battery temperature for the second leg which also explains why the mileage there is a lot better than on the very first leg. So let's look at the numbers. Um, the first leg from um, <clears throat> Roswell to Santa Rosa. Uh, on the warm day I got a mileage of about 3.78 miles per kilowatt hour. Um, if you calculate that up to 100% battery range that would equal about 240 miles for a whole battery. On the cold day 2.64 miles per kilowatt hour would equal to about 170 miles for a whole battery. So we're losing about 70 miles range for the whole battery uh, just because of a cold outside temperature and battery. 
on the second leg um, we get a difference of about 0.6 miles per kilowatt hour so 3.59 miles per kilowatt hour on the warm day which equals to about 230 miles 100 percent battery range and 3.01 miles per kilowatt hour on the cold day which equals to about 190 miles for a whole battery so um, there you get it uh, this is just temperature of the battery and outside air temperature everything else is pretty much the same both days were dry roads as well and um, I'm mostly using the cruise control because it's mostly highway driving as well so one more thing um, the quick charge the DC quick charge on that cold day I monitored the battery um, the speed that the battery was charging it or the car was charging it um, and it's re very interesting since uh, the battery pack temperature started out at 20 degrees Celsius and uh, it charged only at about 50 kilowatt and then when the battery temperature goes up to about 25 26 degrees Celsius um, the speed improves dramatically all the way up to 74 75 kilowatt and uh, then follows the maximum charge curve um, with the step downs as usual so you can really see how important it is to have a warm battery if you want to charge really quick so that's it for today if you guys have any questions please feel free to ask down in the comments please like and subscribe um, so that I know that uh, you guys like what I'm doing here I'm sorry for uh, the little content that I had over the last few weeks it's probably going to be a little bit less uh, the coming few weeks as well because of some circumstances we're going to move again down to Roswell um, because of th some things that didn't work out here in Albuquerque and well it's going to save me quite a commute down to my job so that's nice as well so I hope you guys enjoyed the video again please like subscribe ask any questions you have and uh, have a wonderful day wonderful week and um, Merry Christmas bye